Good morning, everyone. Um, it's beautiful this morning, so uh, just have a quick look. <laughs> yeah, I decided to make a video again this morning because I woke up to um, really nice messages of encouragement by sisters and brothers. Well, actually, by one sister. <laughs> um, but um, also, I woke up to again people coming against me you know and remember what you're doing because when God anoints his people who speak the truth and you're coming against those people that's going to be on your you know that's going to go against you unless you repent of it and um, it's always such a shock to me how and again still you know every time it happens it's such a shock to me how people can be so against the words that I speak to such an extent without even any fear of God in them. Um, and it really boils down to the fact that they are um, proud. They are so blinded that they don't even realize that they're coming against God's anointed, God's children. And um, their pride just won't let them see it. So... And they're all puffed up in that, that pride, in the in knowledge of the Bible. And, and, you know, they throw scriptures at me and um, call me the son of Satan, basically. Throw scriptures at me and then ask me questions about the scriptures. So what does this mean? So what does that mean? You know, uh, I thought, first of all, I thought I was the son of Satan. Uh, okay, so there's the double talk again. And they're asking me these questions because they don't know. They don't know the answers, you see. So and instead of humbling themselves before God, and um, because God gives his saving grace to the humble, so instead of humbling themselves before God, so God can teach them, they throw things at God who dwells in his children. They attack him. And then they say, so well, tell me now. Tell me what's this about and tell me what that's about. It doesn't work like that. Okay, it doesn't work. God doesn't work like that. And um, these people, they're just unable to see. They're Trinitarians most of the times. Um, but other false teachings, Antichrist teachings, they are actually of the Trinity teachings. So I believe personally from what I know so far, from what the Lord has revealed to me so far is that the Trinity is actually um, the core of the Antichrist, you know, teachings and who denies that Jesus Christ, that God's come in the flesh, Jesus Christ come in the flesh, and um, all other teachings actually um, have developed out of that. I just need to drink my tea because it gets cold. So, um, yeah, so they come in such a proud and aggressive way. And then they ask, well, tell me what this means, tell me what that means. And they want God and me to um, teach them. You know, it doesn't work like that. Um, so God gives his saving grace only to the humble, and he rejects the proud. And you can take the Bible and read the Bible, but you don't, do not understand it. That's why you have so many different thousands of denominations, because all of them think they're saved. You know, all of them stand on the Bible, on the scriptures, but they don't know God. And these are the people that come against me, and these are the people that use the Bible to come against me, yet they ask me who God is. You see, and um, so you are in great danger, because you're letting your pride rule you your flesh is ruling you okay you are um it's more important for you to have knowledge rather than fear god fear god you know so i wanted to um read something in james 4. i need to put you down here Um, it 
Submit yourselves, and that's uh, James 4, verse 7, yeah? Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Uh, the Lord needs to wipe that smirk off your face. Uh, simply put, uh, the Lord has to uh, humble you, you know, or has to allow that to happen. Um, because, you see, uh, I can see these all these people who read from the Bible online, and they're so puffed up in their own pride, and they're so... You know, um, there's no glory for God in that. They don't give glory to God in what they know or in what has been revealed to them or how they've grown or how they've changed or things like that. You know, they're just puffed up and they talk about, you know, how to um, understand the scriptures and that's how you understand them. But, um, and anyone who goes against that sort of understanding is a heretic and therefore needs to be come down on like a heart, like a ton of bricks. Um, so there's no love in these people. And yet God says, let your um, laughter be turned to mourning um, and your joy to heaviness, to gloom is another word. Um, so this is the sort of state that you have to approach God with you know you don't approach God tell me about that you tell me about that you know that's not how it works that's not how it works we God searches our hearts and um, we must come to him after we've turned away from all our idols so um, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up So to all those people out there who keep coming against the saints, the children of God, and on the other hand, wanting to know who God is, God's not going to reveal to you who he is in that way. You must, uh, you know, like Paul, he had a lot of humbling to do. <laughs> and... Um, that's basically basically what has to happen to you too, like it had to happen to me and like every other child of God. You know, we have to come to God in a humble way and say, man, I've really done it this time. You know, I've I've went against God. So that's, pro that's the worst thing that you can do. So you have to come, you have to be broken, really, you have to, with a broken heart. And um, that's what's missing in these people, you see. They don't come to God with a broken heart, but they come to him with pride. Just like the New Agers who want to know God and they don't want to come through Jesus to know God. They want to meditate themselves up to heaven. Just like Trinitarians or um, people, you know, of that um, teachings, um, they also don't want to come through Jesus. But Jesus was, a, um, he came as a humble servant. He came as a bond servant. He came as he came in a body of no reputation, and he wants you to lower yourself to that extent, you know, um, even lower than he was. Why? Because we lower ourselves to him. But a lot of people don't want to do that. Um, they want to be puffed up in their own knowledge and um, don't let God teach them. Okay, God needs to teach you, and. Jesus is God, and he's not three persons, so it's all interlinked, it's all linked. So what I, the, the reason I'm making this video is so it's just to let people know that you cannot come to God proud like that. It's not going to work. If you hear from someone while you're in this state, it's not from God, okay? It's not from God. And... Um, I really pray that you will step back and that goes out to everyone who comes against me and all the other children of God because 
<laughs> the devil is wearing out the saints, you know, big time. And um, But we keep going, you know, to the glory of God who gives us the power. But ask yourself, because I want you to be, to be saved as well, ask yourself and look at what you're doing. Rather, step back and look at how you're responding, things that you're saying, and um, pray that the Lord will open your eyes. Because you're actually doomed, you, you know, you're doomed. You, you, if you die in that state, you will go to hell and it'll be terrible. And I don't want that for you. So even though this video is about a rebuke, it's also um, made in love because I don't want you to stay in that state, okay? But know that God will give you a saving grace. He hasn't given it to you yet if you're still in sin. If you're attacking God's anointed, um, he hasn't given you your grace yet. You're not under his grace. You're deceived. Because in Titus, I'm not sure where Titus 2 or whatever, it actually talks about the grace of God leading to holiness and uh, in the present age, okay, now. So um, if you don't live in holiness by the power of God in you, you haven't got his grace yet. And that's why your fruit is so rotten. That's why you come against the people who um, say, tell you that God has come in the flesh. And um, so I, I really hope that somehow the Lord will open your eyes because I don't want you to perish. And keep in mind that when you come against us, God can see that. You know, it's all written down in the, in, in, in the book. It's all, it's all going to be shown to you if you don't repent of it. It's all going to come against you. So you need to get to uh, fear God again, or fear Him. And, um, Oli, stop. And uh, rather than being interested in learning what the church fathers have said, or what Augustine has said, or what they have said, you know, this is not of importance. You need to fear God. Fear God. And humble yourself, and He will give you His grace, and He shall lift you up, and you shall... Be filled with the joy of the Lord, but before that happens, you have to be mourning, you have to be humbled, your your smirk has to be wiped off your face, literally, you know, that smirk um, that we have when we're sinners, that pride, that comes from pride, that needs to go, needs to go, okay, that, oh, see, I, t I got her there with the scripture, that, that needs to go, okay. And um, only by the grace of God and to God's glory are we then able to walk in the Spirit and not do the desires of the flesh. So I hope this video was edifying. I just uh, um, really don't think much about what I say. I just say it. So, <laughs> um, Yeah, that's all I want to say really for now. And as usual, I will show you a little bit of Ireland. Not sure how much you can see because it's very sunny and and of course Ollie's there as well. Okay guys. Um I love speaking to you, whoever's out there listening to me. And um, if you've got any comments, especially if you uh, want to encourage me, please do. I need all the encouragement I can get. And um, I love you very much, okay? And I don't say these things to hurt you or upset you. But you have to be humbled. And you have to be born again, okay? Otherwise you will die the second death. Otherwise you will perish. I don't want that for you. So lots of love to you, everyone, and may Jesus bless you, and may he keep you, and may he guide you, and yeah, may he be your light in the darkness. Until then, bye-bye.